Hey everyone, welcome back to another session. This is session four of our bookmark special series. And in today's session, I have come up with another new bookmark idea. So let us start drawing our bookmark. So just in case you are new to the session, we have already drawn these three bookmarks. So you may like to refer to my videos and draw along with me, right? So today is the fourth one that we'll be drawing. And I have already drawn a square grid on the bookmark, right? So it is a simple square grid. You can draw it freehand and if you're not comfortable, you may use a ruler. Although Zentangle does not advise using a ruler, right? So I'm now going to be inking this grid, right? The first thing. So using my PN and I'm going to first ink the grid that I've drawn with my pen, right? So a simple square grid so I have been reading all of your feedbacks and appreciation and thank you so much for all the appreciation I really admire I'm really humbled so please pardon me if uh, there is some occasional audio issue I'm not a very good editor also so sometimes the videos may have some small little issues but I generally really don't edit too much right so this is my square grid and I'm now going to ink this grid like Knight's Bridge, right? So alternate sections I am going to be inking. So you can use an O8 or I have an identity pen since it has a wider nib. So I'm going to be using this one, right? So let us start inking right away. So just like the pattern Knight's Bridge, I am going to be inking alternate sections of this grid, right? So use an 08 or use a black brush pen. I am using my identity pen. I like the boldness of the color of the ink. So I am going to use this. So you can use any other medium. There are so many. You can use your normal 08, right? So again, leave one in between and ink the next. So we already know the pattern night spread just like a checkerboard, right? So a chess board. Again, we leave the rest of the two and ink the center. Simple pattern looks nice as such also. Very dramatic, instantly adds to the look of your tile. Right. So I am going to do this exercise throughout my tile and then we shall tangle over both the white spaces and the black spaces. Right. So give me a little time and you can continue the same exercise while I come back. So I am on the last section now just inking the last part of my grid. Right. So you can already see the drama. That's the beauty of the tangle. I have done nothing, just inked the alternate sections and you can already see right, the beautiful look. Now let us move on to some tangling and I am going to add some fragments in each of these sections. Right. So simple fragments. So let us start with a simple fragment. I have drawn a seed shape and then I am going to add some orbs inside like this, right? So 
and then I'm going to add auras like this close auras on both sides just like an open P maybe simple fragment pretty commonly used right so I'm going to do exactly the same for all the white sections so take your time go slow add these orbs fill in the small little sections that are left empty between the orbs at the same time right right done that now add the auras again the other side right so I'm going to continue like this and do the same exercise for all let me show you one or two more again Orbs. fill in the small little spaces left in between right and then add the auras mimicking the shape of the seed right so I'll continue like this let me show you one more A simple fragment very commonly used fragment and then the auras right so let me get back so I'm almost finishing here just filling in the small little gaps drawn the same fragment in all the white sections so small little gaps left in between the piece or the orbs you can just ink it right so that's how the bookmark looks like after I filled up one fragment now I have my jelly roll 8 here and I'm going to be using to draw another fragment in the black sections right so I'll start with the dot and then draw these curved lines and then add some weight at the end of the line like this right so drawing curved lines and adding some weight at the end of the line like this so you can go clockwise anti-clockwise whichever way you are comfortable right so just rotate and make sure you don't put your hand on it You can also use a grey jelly roll if you have, that will also look nice because it's almost looking like grey on this black. So why not use grey only, right? So entirely up to you. So this is the fragment and I also have a gold jelly roll here. So I'm just going to add some dots in between. Add a touch of gold. This gold jelly roll is just a bliss to work with. The metallic colors of Sakura are excellent. 
so just adding the small embellishment in between the sections that I have made with the white jelly roll right yeah so that's one hope you can see it clearly yeah so I'm going to be doing the same for all right so starting with the second one again curve line with some weight at the end So you can add any other fragment of your choice. You can add printums. I think even that will look nice. So there's so many whole lot of fragments to play around with. So I thought I'll use this one. So once you have drawn the fragment just use your gold or you can do that exercise at the end also. I just want to show you a few completed ones so so black and gold is always a good combination that's why I thought of introducing some gold also and a nice little embellishment makes the fragment a little more intricate right so this is the fragment and I will do the same throughout right so not much variations here we are working with few simple fragments and making a beautiful bookmark using those fragments again the same exercise right so rotate don't put your hand on it make sure no it is not right up so you need to be careful right <laughs> so go slow take your time jelly roll takes a little while to dry up So this is the fragment, I'll again draw the next one. So drawing curved lines and adding some weight at the end of the line. Basically drawing a V shape at the end and filling it in, right? So to be precise, that is the exercise that I'm doing. Drawn this line, drawn a V shape at the end and filled it in right drawn a line drawn a v-shape and filled it in so Right, so now we can comfortably add those golden dots. Right. I think you got the hang of it by now so I'm going to continue like this 
So I'm almost finishing here now on the second last row. Doing the same exercise as I showed to you earlier, right? So curved line or V at the end and inking it in. and yeah that's about it I will now add the dots so I picked up my gold and now adding those small dots Right, so again this one, I am done with that exercise, I am now moving on to some shading, right, so let us shade this fragment, so I am going to add some graphite like this, right, so some part of the orb and the corners right so you must be thinking i have not done anything in the center row i am going to leave it black because i like it like that right so the bold black is looking nice so I'm just adding some shade to this fragment. Right, so just a slight touch, don't blend too much. You want the whites to be visible as I keep saying always. So just adding the graphite first to all the sections, simple shading, nothing much. So basically Knight's Bridge has been used as a reticular here and although I have inked the sections but I have put in fragments in those sections so a mix of Knight's Bridge and fragments and reticular. Right. So let us now blend. So with the light hand I'm just going to Pull the chalk towards the center but again leave a highlight right so you must leave this white right otherwise the curl look will not come right there is nothing like, like black and white 
you would realize that by the end of this bookmark although we have made bookmarks in colors also but as I keep saying if you don't have colors please stick to black and white because there is nothing that can replace a black and white tile or a black and white piece of work it has its own beauty right I personally work a lot on black and white only just use colors mostly for backgrounds or filling up sections not generally for tangles and I like it that way <laughs> yeah <laughs> almost done with the shading as far as the white jelly roll is concerned if you want you can touch a little of chalk pencil in the center but again that's optional you may or may not do that I don't see the need to do that here actually so because the center is already highlighted because of lines emanating from the same point right so i think that's about it we don't need to do anything to our bookmark so if you want you can add something to the black but i'm liking it this way if you want you can add some gold dots or something like that yeah but i'm not doing anything like that i'm just going to add my chop like this right let it dry for a moment and my bookmark sleeve is here for today I let it dry for two minutes and then I'm going to place it inside the sleeve so that's our bookmark for today and uh, we have already made four of them by now right so we shall meet again with another new bookmark idea and if you uh, have some prompts handy at your home something like stars or beads uh, you know uh, anything any prompt uh, which we can use something like these small mirrors then it would be nice because I am going to be using this small little stuff a little bit in the next bookmark that we make right so if it is handy fine if it is not we can find any other thing like a button or something like that right I have buttons here I have beads here some stars here and I have some mirrors here small mirrors yeah so bye bye take care and we shall meet again with the session 5 Thank you.